Oh my god, it's been a while. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's your girl Luna here, and we're back with Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Uh, year four, chapter two? Give me a moment, give me a moment. Um, <laughs> I haven't posted a video on this for a while. Three weeks ago, probably four weeks by the time this comes out. But yes, today we are going to be doing uh, Year 4, Chapter 2. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. First chapter was quite small, because we also did a bit of it in Year 3's last, chap last chapter as well. But we're going to go straight into it. Let's go. Uh, before we do that, let's do a study of with a friend first. Because I don't want to forget. Oh, new friend. Yes, we want you as a new friend. New friend. Woo! There was some story that we that I didn't record. It was mainly just aggravating um, thingy again. And meeting Charlie Weasley, which was exciting. Uh, meet your friends. I want to meet my friends, guys. Hello, friends. Friends, I have them, don't I? Some of these books taste terrible. I hope to God they aren't. You should be banned from the library after the damage you and your friends did last year. I'll probably spend all next year in here studying for my newts. Oh, yeah, of course. Bill's gonna leave us soon. Sad. <clears throat> Tell him what we overheard, Luna Death. Ragpig and Snape found another sleeping student. They think it's a curse caused by someone messing with a cursed vault. Also, they don't seem to like each other much. Professor Snape doesn't like someone? <laughs> I don't believe it. What do you think about Madame Ragpig? She's cool. I'll give her that. She's cool. I don't trust her, but she's cool. I think she's cool. She's brave and powerful and confident. You should have seen the way she handled Snape. That being said, I still don't trust her enough to tell her everything we know about the cursed vaults. We should keep trying to find the next vault ourselves. We found a map of the Forbidden Forest inside of the last cursed vault, but it's hard to tell where it leads. Perhaps if we study maps of the Forbidden Forest, we'll discover a path to the next curse vault? Study time! <laughs> Hi, Bill. Hi. Oh my god, we can... <laughs> For lols. There you go. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm focusing on certain things only because um, there's a potion thing going on at the moment and I want to get some more stuff. Come here. Damn it. What's this? Anniversary tokens. Anniversary tokens. I don't really need that. I need I need energies. I don't need that. Oh wait 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 wait. Let's not be hasty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is the seasonal event at the moment. Do -do, expensive ship. Expensive ship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Look up here. Mm, collect. Ah! I'll collect things. Energies? Yes! <whistles> Fuck y'all. <laughs> Woo! From this map, it looks like the forest 
grove could be our best entrance into the Forbidden Forest. But there are centaurs, trolls, and acromantulas in there too. The creatures in the Forbidden Forest doesn't don't scare me as much as getting caught. Dumbledore will have our ones. If we enter the forest at just the right spot, we can be in and out before the creatures or the professors find us. I'm fairly certain we've determined the best place to enter, but that won't help once we're inside. Tulip is right. I went in there with Charlie once and got turned around. I'd still be in there if it wasn't if it weren't for him. Everyone should keep studying the forest to work out exactly what we'll need to do to prepare. Come with me, Luna. We have another mystery to solve. Do we? What mystery? What mystery, Rowan? Hmm. God damn it. I need this guy. I need this guy. Healer and celebrated headmistress of Hogwarts in the 18th century. Lovely to meet you, gal. We're meeting Rowan. Prepare to be entertained by a realis realistic reenactment of my own botched beheading. I feel like I feel like nearly headless Nick would do that every year. When are we going to brew our next potion? Don't worry, Penny. I love you, so I will. That rape pick woman is hiding something. Tell that traitor Barnaby to watch his back. Hey, we're in the same house, guys. <laughs> Charlie told me about your trouble with Marilla. I think she's just jealous of your style. I keep having to stop sleepwalking students from entering the Forbidden Forest. Are they cursed? I'm terrible at this. Okay. Rowan, hi, girly. What do you want to me about Rowan? I think Rakepick is the mysterious R who wrote that letter to Ben and drew the Forbidden Forest map. Why? In addition to the obvious initial, the tone of the letter matched her tone during the start of Term Feast. We know she's interested in the Cursed Vault, and that letter sent Ben to the corridor that led to the Ice Vault. I still don't understand why we couldn't talk about it in front of our friends. Because I'm not sure if... Oh, oh, oh. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if Ben really is our friend. I still think he's hiding something. Come on, Rowan. We talked about this at the end of last year. There's no reason to believe Ben is lying. That being said, I'll admit that Madame Rakepick does seem like the most likely suspect to be R. Lair mentioned severe consequences for disobeying. What will happen if she finds out that we're trying to find the next cursed vault? Try not to ro worry, Rowan. Let's just keep calm and talk this through. Hell yeah. Friendship wins. Thanks for talking, Luna. I'm worried Madame Rigpick might be dangerous. Not if we stick together, girly. Not if we stick together. We can handle everything, honey. Woo! Do you think we can trust her? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> She hasn't given us any mean, any sort of like evidence that we can trust her at all. Yes, she taught us Protego, but also, hmm, I feel a little better, but I just can't help worrying about Rake Pick. Let's keep talking, Rowan. I don't think we need to worry just yet. What about the Cursed Vault? We'll keep searching together. Huh. Thanks, Luna. I feel a lot better, but I'm still worried Rape Pick might be R. We can't know for sure, but I think you'll see that everything will be fine. Well, she's R. We'll keep investigating. 
It's all ifs at the moment, all possibilities. We're not 100% sure. You're right, Luna. There's no sense worrying about Rigpick being dangerous until we know for certain. Hell yeah. Thank you, girly. I suppose you're right. We shouldn't accuse Rigpick of being R until we know more about her. I hope we can trust her. We could use her help to break the curse and find the cursed vaults. From the conversation, it sounded like Rigpick and Snape used to be classmates. The other professors might know her too. I'll ask them all about her next time I go to class. Yes. I talked to Rowan. Let's go. We're talking to Snape. I mean, I'm not missing this for the world, honey. Okay. Actually. 55. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Talk to Snape. We do need to talk to Felix. I forgot about that. How many times do you think Snape will call me stupid today? The record is 19. He calls everyone stupid. Be careful, Luna. We don't want Snape to know that we're searching for the cursed vault. There's a rumor that a secret group is conspiring against you, Death. Do you think it's true? Don't worry about the sleepwalking curse. Worry about me. Snape, hello, dear sir. Excuse me, Professor Snape. I wanted to ask you a few questions. My last class began with a student spilling a jar of bat spleens on my robes, death. This is worse. I only want to ask about Madame Rigpick. Why are you asking about Rigpick? I don't know. Mm, what will get me the best response from Snape? Oh no. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure. She's mysterious. <laughs> Hardly know anything about her. If she'll be consulting here all year, I like to know what I'm dealing with. See, that's a fair concern coming from a student. Take your seat. If you manage to make it to the end of class without annoying me further, I'll consider your request. Hell yeah, brother. Sounds like if I can impress Professor Snape in his class, he might talk to me about Madame Rigpick. And perhaps I can learn more about our interests in the next Curse Vault. I better get to work. Yes, girly. Yes, yes, yes. In one hour. Uh, oh, in one hour. How hard is this? Okay, it's not that hard. How much is that? That's three. Oh, I can get that easily. Mm -hmm. No, this was the wrong corridor. It was this one. There we go. <laughs> I'm so good at my thing. Consider me surprised, Def. You have in fact impressed me with your work ethic today. Despite your lack of discipline and intelligence, ouch, you continue to exhibit a gift for potions. Thanks? Will you tell me about Madame Rigpick now? Patricia Rigpick was a fifth-year student when I began my schooling at Hogwarts. 
She was beloved by nearly all my classmates and despised by nearly all the faculty. Why? Because she questioned everything and broke school rules at every opportunity. She was a danger to everyone at Hogwarts and the very principles upon which this school was built. In other words, she was just like you. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> You're so mean. I don't break all the rules. I only break some. Do you trust her? Dumbledore trusts her. It would be unwise to question his judgment without substantial evidence. If you uncover such evidence, bring it directly to me. Ayo? Ayo? Possible teaming with Snape? Ayo? I'm down. I'm down for that. I'm down to team up with Snape. I'm down for it. Ayo? 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 Hmm. I think we're going to leave it there. I don't know how much we have left. Oh, we have a lot of study sessions. Yeah, we've done four parts of the story. So this is going to be part one of chapter two. I know these videos are getting shorter now. But that's only because I have less time to record them. <laughs> I have less time to record them. Because I have other content to focus on. But next episode will be part two of chapter two. So possible teaming up with Snape in the future to take down Rake Pick. They're setting things up. They're setting things up. Honestly, that would actually be very, very interesting. Working with Snape. That would be very, very interesting. Dumbledore trusts her. <laughs> Dumbledore trusts all his teachers and let's have let's have a look at their credentials over there. Let's not even talk about the defense position. Fuck me. Defense against the dark of my effing else. <laughs> Anyways, we got more frogs. Yeah. We got Gildry Lockhart! A wizarding celebrity who offered books on his encounters with dark creatures. Ew. I have, he gives me the ick. Beetle the Bard. Author of wizarding fairy tales including the tales of Beetle and Bard. Well, very, very nice tale. Ulick Gump. The first British minister for magic in the 1710s. Bowman Wright, inventor of the Golden Snitch. Ooh. Circe, ancient Greek witch who found joy in transfiguring lost sailors into pigs. Icon, icon, icon. I don't think I have any more. Oh no, we got Helga. Founder of Hufflepuff House of Hogwarts. And of course, we have... Bertie what? I think that's all we have in the special collection. Yeah. We don't have many. Thank you. And thank you. My animals will be extremely happy. Shall we change our outfit, actually? Look at this. It's, it's, it's a bright pink outfit. I love this outfit so much. It's cute. Because we wear the same outfit all the time, so it'd be nice to just like change things up a bit.
I'm just playing about. <laughs> I'm just playing about with the hairstyles. Mm. That'll just make me look like grandma. Guys, I look like a grandma. <laughs> No, we'll go over there the usual, which is this gorgeous hairstyle. Hey, I look kind of cute. I look kind of cute. And that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.